The succinate dehydrogenase inhibitors, or SDHIs, are a newer class of fungicides for tree fruit disease control. These fungicides target an enzyme that's essential for respiration in fungi, so it's a target that when the fungicide attacks it will kill the fungus. In general, the SDHI class of fungicides are highly effective in controlling cherry leaf spot and powdery mildew, and these are our most important foliar diseases of tart cherry in Michigan. SDHIs also provide good to very good control of American brown rot on fruit. There are four SDHI fungicides that are registered for use in Michigan and will be registered for use in 2013. Three of these are, will be sold as a premix with a, an additional fungicide. The first one is Pristine. This is marketed by BASF and it's important to notice that, note that Pristine has been registered and used in Michigan commercially since 2004. So this is an older compound. The others are newer compounds that are just being introduced into Michigan. The second one is also marketed by BASF. It's a premix also called Merivon. This is a premix of an SDHI component plus a strobiliarin component as well. In fact, the same strobiliarin that's in Pristine. The third fungicide is uh, from Bayer. It's called Luna Sensation. And this one has a, a separate SDHI component that's mixed with a strobilian component from Bayer, actually the, the active ingredient of GEM. And then the fourth one is a strobilian, is a, excuse me, an SDHI fungicide alone. Uh, this is called Fontellus. It's marketed by DuPont. Now please also view the separate video, SDHI fungicide premixes, in which I discuss the ramifications of using premixes for disease control and uh, the importance of fungicide resistance management. Each of these SDHI fungicides has a slightly different spectrum of efficacy against the important tart cherry diseases of, in Michigan. This is just because of differences in the intrinsic activity of the SDHI compound itself. Just of the, the structure of the molecule makes a little bit of difference in its disease control capacity. Now before I discuss the disease control and efficacy of these SDHIs, I want to stress that this information uh, is taken directly from our field research results of fungicide trials that we conduct at the Northwest Michigan Horticultural Research Center in Suttons Bay, Michigan. We conduct these trials every year for leaf spot and powdery mildew control in tart cherry and for brown rock control in sweet cherry. And research reports documenting our field trial results are available for viewing and for download from the extension a part of my website. I'll start with the newer SDHI fungicides that were registered in 2002. I rate the, the Bayer Premix Luna Sensation as an excellent fungicide for cherry leaf spot control and powdery mildew control on tart cherry and as a very good fungicide for control of, of American brown rot. The label range for application rates of Luna Sensation is 5 to 5.6 fluid ounces per acre. My suggestion is to always use the maximum label rate of a premix fungicide for disease control. This is because in general, companies will use lower concentrations of each mixing partner overall in the premix. At the highest rate specified for Luna Sensation, a 5.6 fluid ounce rate, you get enough of both components for a disease control. But because uh, the individual rates are slightly lower than what we would use normally by themselves, that's why I, I really want you to maximize or use the maximum labeled rate or the 5.6 fluid ounce rate. By using this rate, you ensure that you're putting enough of each compound out there for effective disease control. And also note there's a two spray per season limit uh, for use of Luna Sensation. This is again for fungicide resistance management. I also rate the premix Marivon from BASF as an excellent fungicide for cherry leaf spot and for powdery mildew control and is a very good fungicide for brown rock control on fruit. Now the label range for Marivon is pretty wide, 4 to 6.7 fluid ounces per acre. We've tested rates of 5.5 and 6.5 fluid ounces of Marivon per acre for cherry leaf spot control and we did detect under high disease pressure, we did detect a difference in that at the 6.5 fluid ounce or the higher rate, uh, we saw decreased defoliation from cherry leaf spot infection. And so th this is a pretty good example of situations where altering the rate uh, to a medium rate on the label versus a high rate can have some serious consequences for cherry leaf spot control, especially under higher disease pressures.
Although the use of higher rates will be more expensive, uh, it's important to use those rates, I think, to maximize disease control. You also minimize the size of the fungal population that you're dealing with, and that will serve to reduce the chances for fungicide resistance development. Now, Fontellus from DuPont, this is a, a SDHI fungicide that's sold alone. Uh, it's a single ingredient fungicide in 2013. Now, this fungicide is, simply is not a leaf spot material. It does not have enough intrinsic activity uh, for efficacious control of leaf spot. So it really should not be used targeting leaf spot. However, if it is used at its highest label rate, and in this case it's 20 fluid ounces per acre, uh, Fontellus is equivalent to Marivon or Luna Sensation for control of brown rot on fruit. So it does have some potential uses in uh, tart and sweet cherry disease control. Finally, the premix Pristine from BASF is an excellent fungicide, again, for cherry leaf spot and powdery mildew control, and very good for brown rot control. The one issue with Pristine that, that we have to keep in mind is that it has been in use in Michigan since 2004, and so we've started to see some issues with resistance development in the cherry leaf spot fungus to uh, some components of Pristine, especially the SDHI boscolid component of Pristine. Now I'll discuss this in a separate video that's titled Resistance Development uh, to the SDHI Fungicide Boscolid in the Cherry Leaf Spot Pathogen in Michigan. I'll also discuss resistance management strategies for these new SDHIs in a separate video. To summarize, I think that the new SDHI, SDHI premixes, Luna Sensation and Marivon, are both excellent needed fungicides for the cherry market in Michigan, especially for cherry leaf spot control. The other new SDHI fungicide, Fontellus, is a very good fungicide for brown rock control that's equivalent to Marivon and Luna Sensation. Now these fungicides should be used at the high end of their labeled range, labeled rate range, and this will maximize the control achieved with using them. Now before you apply these fungicides, please also view my separate video on resistance management strategies to protect these fungicides for the long term.